Hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVT News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Tobe, and I come back here with bad news for supporters and members of the Citizens Coalition for Change. That is Triple C, you know it, the mainstream opposition party in Zimbabwe, which is being led by advocate Nelson Chamisa. So what happened, for those of you who were not uh, updated about the goings on in that part is that on the 3rd of October this year, a man calling himself the interim secretary general of Triple C by the name Sengezo Chabangu woke up, wrote a letter to the speaker of parliament, advocate Jacob Mutenda. That was on the 3rd of October 2023, which is last week. So he, I was recalling members of Triple C, or let me say parliamentarians were elected on Triple C ticket. They were elected on a Triple C ticket to the current House of Assembly in Zimbabwe. So he said these ones had ceased to be members of the political party which had uh, allowed them to use his ticket to get into parliament and therefore they were being recalled so it was titled notification and declaration of members of the national assembly elected under citizens coalition for change and have ceased to be members of citizens coalition for change he did not state how and why they have or they had ceased to be members of the party so he said, kindly be advised that the following members of the National Assembly were elected under Citizens Coalition for Change Political Party and have ceased to be members of Citizens Coalition for Change Political Party. He mentioned their names and then he said to the speaker, kindly proceed in terms of the relevant provisions of the Constitution of Zimbabwe relating to members who have ceased to be members of a political party which they were elected under. Then he signed his name, Sengezo Chabangu, Interim Secretary General of the Party. And you will remember also that Triple C, Deputy Spokesperson, Gift Ostalo Siziba, then wrote to the Speaker of Parliament again and claimed that Mr. Chabangu was not a member of Triple C. He was last known as a member of PTP and the MDCT, but you would know that Triple C does not have party membership cards, and they say that every citizen is a member of the party. They say it is a citizen's movement, they don't have structures, they don't have a constitution. But we know that when a party notifies the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission of its existence and intention to contest the elections, they must supply among other things, their constitution, they must supply the parties, the names of the parties officials, usually is the president and the secretary general, including their addresses, but Triple C maintain that they know they never had structures and they don't have a constitution, we don't know why they supplied them. So, Ostalos said that Chabangu was not a member of Triple C, has never been a member of Triple C, but then now Chabangu has come up uh, with some photos of him uh, in a triple C rally with the selfies with some of these uh, members of the party get in yellow. So now what has happened is that while the merry go round is still happening, the Speaker of Parliament has now responded. Uh, Advocate Jacob Mutenda has now responded and he has recalled those members which uh, Chabang said should be recalled because they were no longer members of Triple C. So there's 15 MPs involved in this. They are as follows. Pasho Rafael Sibanda of Country Park, that is in Bulawayo. Eric Kono of Lepungula Makweko, that is Bulawayo. Nicola Jane Watson, Bulawayo South. Desmond Makaza, Mpopo Mamziligas, which is also in Bulawayo. Opet Manduna Nketa, which is Bulawayo. Mlilo Stabile and Jasmine Tofa, Pierre representatives from Bulawayo, Janet Dube also a, a, pre, a PR a representative of the party again 
also uh, from Bulawayo. There is also uh, Moken Nube, Paid Preach. There is Evidence Sana, Youth Quota Bulawayo, Nomatemba Sibanda, Piara, Velis Wenkomo, Piara, Prince Tubego Sibanda, Pinga North, that is Matapele North, Brighton Moyo Vanya, Lubane East, Matapele North, Fipion Munyarazi, Mavuku, Tafara, uh, in Harare. So, this is what is happening. Noma Timbers Banda is a proportional representation candidate for Mat North. Velisio Nkomo is also from Mat North. So, these are the MPs who have been recalled by the Speaker of Parliament at the uh, instigation of Mr. Sengezo Chabang, who claims that he is um, the Interim Secretary General of Triple C. So the recalls are pursuant to a letter that he wrote on the 3rd of October 2023 uh, in his uh, capacity as the Triple C interim SG and in terms of section 129 subsection 1 subsection K of this constitution of Zimbabwe. Uh, so this is what has transpired now. But we are told that uh, we are also told that these recalled members of parliament have already been informed. We have seen some letters informing them that they now they've now ceased to be members of parliament and the chief elections officers responsible for these respective provinces where they, these MPs come from have also been notified that they, they now have arisen uh, some uh, vacancies in the concerned constituencies following the recalls of these members of parliament. So some of those, including Prince Tubego Sibanda, have already written to the court, which is again what Chabang uh, challenged them to do if they claimed that he's not a member of Triple C. So they have written to the courts uh, to seek a nullification of the, the recent order from the Speaker of Parliament uh, recalling them. So it's going to be a long protracted battle. We feared last time that this is likely to get to a stage where we have a repeat of what happened under the MTC alliance. We all know that it was dissected, torn into pieces first when uh, Togosani Kupe, that is Dr. Togosani Kupe, went to court seeking uh, control of the party using the party's constitution and she won that court case eventually they went to congress which was won by uh, Douglas Monzora who then also uh, wrestled the MTC alliance from uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa so this is lightning striking for the second time in the same house, a house under the leadership of Advocate Nelson Chamisa. So now what we have is that there is a court case coming up, but the biggest worry that we have is that Chabang himself has members that he signed for uh, who went on to win elections under triple C tickets, both at parliamentary level and at local government level. So, it will be very difficult uh, to just decide on this case on who is correct and who is not in this case. And he seems to have for a very long time been preparing for this and there seems to be some people behind him from Triple C. We have to state it clearly that all this is out of Triple C's own power hunger or the power hunger that uh, has seized the members of the, the Citizens Coalition for Change. The problem that we have is that these opposition politicians do not want to own up to their own mistakes and they want to blame everybody else but themselves for their own problems. We know now that uh, there have been accusations fly, flying around and we, whenever our opposition politicians encounter problems within or the, let me call them internal problems they tend to not own up and start accusing each other of being zanu pf surrogates of being uh infiltrators from the zanu pf and that is the reason why these 
same uh, predicaments have always visited them, especially with Triple C under, or not only Triple C, especially after the death of Morgan Swangirai, because we have people who one are lawyers but do not want to follow the legal provisions, not of the country only, but also within their own parties. They don't follow or their own constitutions. They don't follow their own party protocol. They don't follow their own party policies. And at the end of the day, they develop uh, fights. They get into fights. And when they start fighting because they are all power hungry, they then pull in different things. They accuse each other because this is how they have always been structured in uh, mentally. They've always been structured uh, along the love and hate for Zano PF. So whenever they have problems with each other, with each other they then accuse each other of being Zano PF, or they accuse Zano PF of using a third hand to attack their house. They never own up, and we will see them. I, 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 I suspect, or let me say, I foresee them going onto the streets to try and fight this politically when it's actually now a legal case. They always want to hide behind politics. They always want to hide behind street protests, saying people have, the people have been robbed uh, and saying a number of things. They don't want to prepare court cases and argue their cases in court. We're going to see a long protracted struggle in this. Brace yourselves for what you saw happening under the MTC alliance. This is what we had for you, but we're going to hold a live probably later today to try and discuss this. Make sure that you make a date with us, but in the meanwhile, be free to send us your views, your comments, and then we'll consider those. If you have questions, ask them. We're going to answer them when we hold that live probably today or tomorrow. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.